Hey everyone, so today Apple released the OS X Yosemite public beta and today I'm going to show you how to format your drive and how to download that beta and install that beta so that you can continue using it. Now before you do this, I advise that you use it on a backup drive, a um, external hard drive, a spare internal drive if you have a desktop or if you have a laptop. Uh, and this is Mac OS X 10 Yosemite, so let's get to it. So you're going to need to go to the OS 10 beta program page. You're going to need to sign in with your Apple ID and make sure you get a code. Then you're going to need to scroll down to install beta and you're going to need to click on this download and it will redeem this code and it will show up in um, the App Store as OS 10 Yosemite Beta 1 and you need to download this and then you need to launch the installer. So let's go over here to the installer and while you have this pulled up you need to go into disk utility and I have formatted one of my disks as the Yosemite test drive and to do this you need to go to your main disk you need to click partition and you need to you would need to press the, pos the plus button and add a uh, extra drive or whatever or if you just have an external hard drive just plug that in and make sure it's formatted as Mac OS extended journal you want to do uh, some a certain size uh, that you choose uh, a good recommendation which would be around 50 gigabytes I did 120 because I'm going to actually use this to test things out and before you do that though you need to back up I repeat back up back up your stuff because if anything goes wrong you can just re redo to Mac OS Mavericks but if you do not back up and something goes wrong well then you're screwed sorry you're screwed so now that we've covered that let us look at the beta installer so we're going to click continue we're going to agree agree again we're going to show all disk uh, I'm going to do Yosemite test drive so OS 10 will be installed on the disk Yosemite test drive I'm going to click install I'm going to type in my password and it will begin to install. And that is the conclusion of this video.